So I'm going to talk a little bit about a, um, a plugin that I like to use for my WordPress blogs that manages Google compliant XML sitemaps. It's this plugin right here. It's cleverly called Google XML sitemaps. And I'm going to just click on visit uh, plugin site here so you can see real quick um, what the URL is here. Hit your pause button, write that thing down. Uh, there are a number of different plugins that handle this for you and if you search at wordpress.org in the extend section under plugins you're going to see a lot of them. This is just one I like. I've tried a couple of them and there's pluses and minuses but this is one I like. And this is the one I'm using. So we're going to talk about it today. Now first if you haven't already go to Google Webmaster Tools and create an account. This is where you're going to manage your sitemap and let Google know um, where and how and how often to crawl your site. It's very, very helpful. Okay, so do that first, and then when you go in here, you're going to see that it's going to want a sitemap, and you need to create a sitemap. Now, if you have your own site that's not a WordPress, um, and, and you can't take advantage of plugins and things like that that WordPress provides, then you've got to create a, a manually generated um, XML sitemap, and then frequently go in here and tell Google um, to uh, to um, to uh, look at it and so on. But this plugin takes care of that for you. So I've already got this installed. I'm just going to go right down to it. Under settings here, you'll see XML sitemap. That's because I've activated the plugin. It'll be right there under settings. So I'm going to talk a little bit about a trick. This one is already installed. And as you can see, the sitemap's been built. Google and Bing and Ask have been successfully notified. This plugin handles it for you. It's great. Every time you update your blog, you create a new page, new post, you update a post, whatever it is, it will build a new sitemap and notify the search engines that there is a change, which is great because if you've got frequency, if, you, if you're updating your site regularly, you're going to want to let the search engines know because they love frequency. They have value associated with frequency and freshness. And if you're doing it manually, it is a pain. This plugin handles it for you. But what I want to talk about here is a little trick that you have to follow. If you've got a site, if you've got your blog um, installed in a subdirectory of your site, so uh, to give you an example of this, um, here's a, a blog I, I run called SB Entrepreneur. And the blog WordPress is installed in the home directory. Okay, so this isn't a big deal. I install the plugin, and everything's fine, it works out great. Um, however, if you've got a site like the Zamzow Zone here, now this is the Zamzow Group, and zamzowgroup.com has their own site with an about us and clients and careers and contact and all that stuff, right? But then they've got their blog. This is WordPress installed in a subdirectory. If you do that and you use this plugin, then what's going to happen is is that that plugin is going to manage create a sitemap for that directory, that subdirectory, just the blog, not the rest of the site. And you want this cool plugin to handle the sitemap for the whole site. It's much easier. So what you need to do is you go need to go into these plugin settings and you'll see here additional pages. If your blog is in a subdirectory that you want and you want to add pages which are not in the blog directory, you must place your sitemap in the root directory. That's the first thing you need to do. And then you need to come down here and you need to change, you need to get a bit of custom, uh, you need to change it from automatic detection in this here to custom location. And then there's one final step, which I'll go over in a second, and that is these additional pages. That's where you add in. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually, this is an FTP client here. As you can see, if I go into uh, the subdirectory, the Zamzow zone is the subdirectory that the sitemap here is in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure there's a copy of that in the in the uh, root directory. Now I just actually copied that over a second ago. That wasn't there originally when I installed the plugin, so I needed to do that. So make sure that you got the sitemap files in the in the root directory. Okay. Once that's taken care of, you come over here and you change this to custom location, and you make sure this is uh, not including uh, um, the Zamzow zone. It was a second ago before I started the video, but you need to make sure it doesn't. And change that to custom and do it there and do it under the complete URL. And then what you need to do is add these other pages. Now what I did for Formation Solutions, you can see here, these are all the pages. This is about index, contact, service, and so on. You need to add all those pages and you'll be set. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to just add them all in for the home page, the contact, and so on. Hope that helps.